Hi Sagittarius, this is Lucky with Lucky Sevens Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. This is going to be your uh, November reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember that these are general messages, so not every message will resonate with you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right, um, anything that doesn't resonate with you, make sure you check your Moon, Rising, and Venus sign videos for a more complete message. Or you can check out my website, lucky 7 I do have readings available. Um, first come, first serve. All right, make sure you guys hit the like button for me. It does help support the channel. doesn't cost you a thing, and I really appreciate it. It just lets YouTube know that um, you like the video and that other people should watch it as well. All right, now, if you are interested in donating to the channel, there is also a link in the description box for you to do that if that is what you would like to do. All right. Thank you guys so much. Let's get into this. We're going to talk about love, but some of these messages could also resonate in the reverse and they may resonate in another area of your life. So your love life, your career, your family, friendships, all of that, right? Let's see. Some of you guys are opposing someone. You, <clears throat> I feel like you're being stubborn. I feel like some of you are... There's someone that you're... I don't know if you're running from them or they've been running from you. But I think this is something that's definitely caused you to kind of feel stuck. I think a lot of you have learned some sort of lesson about this. But I feel like someone here is definitely closed off. All right. You didn't trust your intuition. You ignored your intuition about this person. Yeah, it's like you had tunnel vision. You were only seeing them or like you were only seeing what you wanted to see when it came to this individual, whoever this is. I also see you guys moving on. Some of you, this is actual traveling. But I feel like you're moving forward. You're focused on healing. A lot of you have like gone into hermit mode, maybe went through some sort of depression or sadness in some way. But it's like whatever this was, you're recognizing that you didn't achieve what you wanted to achieve with this situation. And I think it's been really frustrating for you. But it's like you are leveling up. You're walking away from this. You're moving on. Some of you, this could be a physical move, change in your home, what have you. But I'm feeling like you're definitely leaving something behind. I'm also seeing some of you guys be frustrated with your job or frustrated with work that you're not achieving some type of goal that you feel like you should be achieving or have already had. Okay. Yeah, it's like you have secret feelings for someone or they have secret feelings for you. Somebody is hiding how they truly feel. You're not with this person, whoever this is. I feel like this is there is an obstacle in the way. It's like you invested yourself into this and I don't know. I feel like there's an obstacle in the way of you exposing your real feelings when it comes to this person. Because somebody here is being stubborn. I feel like a lot of you may be preparing to make some sort of decision, maybe preparing to move. Or this is just preparing you to move on. Like you're finally getting over the fact that somebody may have played games with you. They had other options. And I think you already knew this or this was something like you were anticipating. And now you're like getting ready to take a new, you know, to take a turn and go into like this different direction. I do feel like some of you have other options coming up for you that are that may be helpful in regaining your confidence when it comes to this situation. I'm also seeing you clear the air with somebody from the past. It's like, and I feel like this does bring you happiness. All right. A lot of you have not been able to see the bigger picture or you may have been closed off to this 
tell me about these secret feelings that is here for Sagittarius. I almost called you Aquarius. Some of you, this has to do with an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, so whoever this is, it's like you're separated from them. I feel like this was a relationship or something that was like newer. Like, it, I don't know, it was a relationship that's newer that didn't quite get off the ground because somebody was hiding their fears, needing to let go of the past or some sort of past hurt or pain, possibly from family or having to do with family for some of you. I want to see, what is this travel card here for? Yeah, you guys are going on a new adventure that's going to bring in more opportunity to get something you really want. What are they clearing away? Some of you, I feel like there is going to be some sort of balance that comes into this or like truth revealed. Some of you, this is somebody who's getting, like wants to clear the air with you um, because they desire you or some of you are desiring to clear the air with someone. All right, let's see what Tara was is talking about. What does uh, Sagittarius need to know? What messages, spirits do you have for the sign of Sagittarius for November? Page of Wands at the heart of the matter. And the hermit. I feel like somebody gave you the bare minimum. Somebody gave you the bare minimum. And I feel like a lot of you retreated. Like possibly have gone through some sort of depression because of this. You were definitely, you got the, the temperance card, which is your card represented in reverse. And right behind that, you've got the Queen of Swords and the Four of Wands in reverse. This is like an energy of, you know, going through a breakup, a separation with someone that I feel like you thought that this was everything, like you could have everything that you wanted, but it wasn't in balance for some reason. And now you guys are, you know, maybe even made to feel bitter. You feel like you have to protect yourself from someone. Here's the thing, though. I feel like for a lot of you, as you go through this breakup or a separation from this person, there's another love offer coming in as you get out of this situation and you've got to decide if you want to give to this and move on or not because somebody does want to commit to you, want to have a higher level commitment or relationship with you. Let's see what the challenge is for you. Judgment. I'm telling you guys, the the challenge has a lot to do with feeling stuck in the past. Somebody feeling stuck. You know, I feel like you were dealing with somebody that you really did want to manifest something with. Some of you, maybe it's a Capricorn or an Aquarius here. But it's like now your focus is on healing. Okay. You're taking the necessary action to like focus on your healing. I feel like you do want to make things right with someone or they want to come back around and like make things right with you. But I think you're really focused on yourself, Sagittarius. Like you don't want to fight or argue with anyone, but you also want to just focus on you. Let's see what happened in the recent past. The King of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you thought this was your person. Like... They could have been an earth sign with fire or fire with earth. Some of you, this is another Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I f I don't know why. I'm also getting, for some of you, maybe this was a same-sex relationship or the person you were dealing with, you may have found out that they like the same sex. That's not for everyone. That's for like a small percentage of you. But for others, I'm getting that you thought this was the person of your dreams. Like this was somebody that you thought they had everything. You thought that they had, you know, 
they were the perfect partner, perfect father, business person, you know, sexually, there was a lot of chemistry. And I feel like that in some way changed for you. Um, let's see what's on your mind in the month of November. The Emperor, Aries or Virgo energy for some of you. Some of you are really thinking about walking away from someone. Yeah, letting this go, right? Recognizing that it's over, you know, trying to control your emotions. Because I think that you are sad about this. Like, this is something you have a lot of regret for. You know, you're trying to control how you really feel and be strong in this situation so that you can move on. I feel like you're not communicating with this person. You're, you may be in this place of like accepting that it's over, it's done, um, and taking your power back, okay? Some of you are randomly thinking about walking away from a job or career. Let's see what's hidden. The High Priestess, Piscean Energy, for, and the Two of Pentacles. For some of you... I do feel like this person was a, mis a mystery. Uh, some of you are not communicating with this person. You are trusting your intuition that this was somebody that was juggling or was like trying to play games with you. I think you really did invest in this in hopes that everything would work out just fine. But I feel like there was other people involved more than I'm looking at this and I feel like there was more than one person. Like some of you were dealing with somebody who still had feelings for an ex. And if this wasn't them, this could be you. But I feel like you're in this place of like, you know that this person's going to regret their decisions. I feel like you've been just being patient, like waiting for them to like regret how they treated you. Some of you, you felt like this person mistreated you. They used you. Um, you may have felt even like, they didn't appreciate you. So you stopped giving to this because they didn't know really what they wanted. All right. This person was very mysterious. And they may have even made you question like your own intuition. Let's see what the most likely outcome is to this situation for November. Sorry about that, guys. Um, the two of wands is the outcome. So there's something here you have to make a decision about. Some of you are still not seeing something clearly. All right. I feel like there's something here you guys are trying to hold on to. Or you have been holding on to something. And the fact that you're holding on to it has been creating more like a prison around you. Where things feel... It, it, you feel isolated because you're still holding on to this. And I feel like you want to bring things into balance or you want to have things be fair. And it's like, I'm seeing that you are going to be healing or you guys have taken the time to heal. And there will be a new opportunity that comes in for you that is like a part of your destiny. It's a part of, you know, where you're going. Okay, let's see what you're what the tarot has to say. We're going to clarify these. Tell me about this page of wands for Sagittarius. And you got the six of pentacles here, guys. You gave to this connection. Like you were open, you were vulnerable with this person, possibly more than you ever were before. You were ready for something serious, something solid. And I feel like this was somebody that was giving you the bare minimum. Why judgment is the challenge? The hermit. Somebody, I feel like the challenge is to reconcile, right, with this person. Because someone here has, um, has took a step back, all right? They needed time for themselves to heal. Somebody here has also been very depressed about the past. Tell me more about judgment. The nine of pentacles in reverse. Now remember, these are this is the challenge. The challenge is to open yourself up to love. But I feel like you guys have been done wrong so much in the past that you have not healed. You haven't had success. 
in relationships where you gave more than you got. And so now it's like, you don't know if you can trust the, you know, yourself to be in another relationship or to allow yourself to move on. I feel I'm getting like a strong sense of hurt, disappointment. Why the King of Pentacles in the recent past? Four of Swords, what did I say? And the Queen of Wands in reverse. This is somebody I feel like in the recent past that really pissed you off, Sagittarius. Like they weren't doing anything. It was like they didn't know what they wanted. They were still grieving and like really thinking about the past. And I feel like you were all in. This was everything that you wanted. You were ready to take the chance. You didn't have any other options. You were really committed in this. You were emotionally available to this person. You had let everything else go only for this person to kind of like leave you out in the cold, high and dry, is what I'm seeing. And I feel like you have regrets over that. All right. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles energy in the recent past. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, you took on the bulk of the responsibility in this relationship. Some of you were dealing with a uh, Capricorn, possibly. For others, this could just be like it just turned toxic. It was, you know, one sided. One person was giving and the other person was receiving. It was like you were giving to this person because you made up in your mind who you thought they were. Come to find out they weren't that person at all. Why is the emperor here on Sagittarius's mind? I almost called you cancer. Some of you guys have cancer in your chart. Maybe you were dealing with one. The two of pentacles reversed. The ace of wands reversed. A lot of you are really, you are taking your power back. There was something here that was a missed opportunity. I definitely feel like it's hard to let go of. A lot of you are trying to stay mad or upset with this person mentally. Or like you're telling yourself everything that you need to hear in order to maintain control. Yeah, you've given up. I think you'd also kind of question if giving up was the right thing sometimes. Like you're not, but you weren't waiting on this person. This person was not coming around to offer anything solid to you because they were too in their head. They were afraid. They were overthinking. They were afraid of the commitment. And I feel like this is not somebody that has changed. Why is the high priestess here hidden? The ace of pentacles. It was like you were ready for something solid. And the whole time this person had an air of mystery about them that challenged your own intuition. It was like somebody trying to tell you that you don't know what you know intuitively. You know, and I feel like this just didn't work out. Um, some of you, it is with an Aries, sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. And I feel like this is something that is very difficult to release yourself from. Tell me more about this high priestess. Justice in reverse. Like, you know this person's lying. You know that they're not ready for... you. I feel like you you know or you knew like they weren't ready for something solid. They weren't ready for something stable. They weren't ready to offer stability because they hadn't moved on. And it's like they offered it anyways or you accepted it, this anyways and then it turned out to be a lie. Why is the Two of Swords here for the outcome in November? The Six of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. You may communicate with this person or some of you, you're thinking of communicating with this person so that you can move on from this situation, like finding closure. You've got judgment and the Eight of Swords with the Six of Cups. I definitely see you going back over things and changing your perspective. Look at that King of Pentacles now in the reverse. It's like in the past, this was everything. This person was everything. And then now it's like, yeah, you don't see them the same way anymore. Your view of them has changed. Your opinion has changed. Okay. I feel like you may give this person another chance or you're thinking about it. 
wondering if you made the right choice. This person's going to come back around. But again, I don't see them offering anything to you. You've lost attraction for them, for some of you. And I don't see you leaving. Like, I don't see it being done and completely over. But I don't see you... A lot of you, I feel like you got the nine of swords and the three of swords reverse. It's like, I don't see this person investing in you and I don't see this, that you're moving on completely yet, but it's like, you also are not like, this isn't necessarily growing, you know, you may get clarity on something that pushes you to have to make a choice for some of you as to whether or not you're going to shoot or dribble as far as this relationship is concerned. But somebody is not showing you who they really are. They were wearing a mask, gaslighting you even. They were pretending and you thought this was the one, like you guys were perfect together. And you had this fear of abandonment with this person because you were happy at one point. But again, there's somebody here that needed to take time to heal from a breakup or a separation. I feel like this was somebody that you might have got together right after they broke up with someone or they got, you know, they used you to get over somebody. I'm getting real big rebound energy here. Um, I do think they have feelings for you that they want to possibly rekindle or you may get a phone call from them or some type of communication, but I feel like this person is hesitant. I do see love coming in for you, Sagittarius. I really do. But somebody has to deal with the hurt and create healthy boundaries, all right, with this person that hurts you. It's like you got to let them know that you're, you're done with them and like really be done. Yeah, because it's like you deserve to be loved. And I feel like you are calling in a person in your life. that you have a strong soulmate connection with. I feel like you trusted this person and they deceived you. They lied to you. What else? And I see you guys trying to make the effort in some way. And someone here was like closed off. And it was like you just weren't paying attention to the red flags that this person was showing. You thought that it was safe. You thought that you, you know, that you were safe with this person. Some of you are spending more time with your friends. I do see you forgiving someone. learning from this situation. And this could lead you to a higher level commitment, especially for those of you who are single. If you're single, as you forgive this person that hurt you, there's somebody new coming in that you could end up being with long-term, like have a whole long-term relationship with. Um, if you're in a relationship, you could, as you forgive each other, within this situation, there could end up being like an engagement or higher level commitment, marriage, that type of thing. I feel like someone's going to be honest about their codependency or their addictions in some way, or there's going to be some truth there. I feel like someone here is definitely bitter and jealous. This has definitely caused a struggle. There is somebody coming back into your life that you walked away from. There's definitely going to be someone here giving a second chance or trying to come back around. They may beg beg you to come back or like they may be over the top. I don't know if this is this 
same person or somebody that you already like walked away from before, but there's somebody coming into your life. I feel like you're not trying any different approach. Somebody here, you might learn the truth about someone and just not be able to act rationally with this person. I feel like this is a blessing in disguise. Your intuition is your God-given, like, it's your God-given talent, you know? It's one of those things, like, you guys are one of the most, if not the most, intuitive sign. You need to trust your gut intuition because that's keeping you out of a lot of hot water here. But it's almost like somebody has this fear of missing out. That's the reason why they're coming back around. Like, they don't want anyone else to have you. They're still lying. They're still full of shit. Some of you, it, I don't know, this could be you for some of you. But I'm feeling like this is happening to you. This person disguises themselves. You're going to have to read between the lines with this individual. Trust your intuition. Look at that. Bottom of the deck. Trust your intuition. I feel like this person in some way has some sort of reputation they're trying to protect. I don't know what that's about. Let's see. What else can you tell me? Yeah. This has gotten really deep, and I feel like you, you've got to let this go. A lot of you are really silent. This person may... It's like you're suffering in silence. Some of you are, um, it was like the way you felt your emotion for this person, the way you love this person was so significant for some of you. I'm getting like, I don't know that the love that you had clouded your judgment for some, for others, um, you might be drinking your pain away or like smoking your pain away. I don't know. I definitely feel like this was a toxic situation. Somebody here ghost, ghosted someone else, somebody. Like, I don't know if you ghosted them for someone new or they ghosted you for someone new. Tell me about this new person. Yeah, it's like this person was only giving you pieces of themselves. They're going to regret it. Because you're going to let them go for somebody new. Some of you, if this person puts you in a third party or they let you go to like try to rekindle it with an ex, because I am seeing that somebody is torn between two people. Um, but this the person that they went to or the other person I'm getting this person is for the streets this person is for the streets like this person is like a hoe or they have like a bad reputation about themselves is what I'm getting somebody just doesn't want to deal with taking accountability they don't want the criticism I feel like this caused you some self-esteem issues Sagittarius yeah, the, what did I say to you? This person gave you mixed signals. It came up. Yep, because they still have feelings for an ex. There is somebody, Sagittarius, in your life that still has feelings for their ex. But they, it was like they replaced someone too soon without realizing their feelings for their ex. And now, what did I say? Never fails. They're avoiding accountability. Somebody feels like they replaced their ex too soon. They still have feelings for their ex and are just acknowledging it. Or maybe you you didn't know that. I don't know. For some of you, maybe you didn't know. All right. Let's see what you need to work on this month, Sagittarius. Sabotage. Self-sabotage. Have the courage to stop self-sabotaging your own relationships or your own love life for some of you. 
Some of you are holding out sexually with someone. Could be a Leo for some. You need to embrace. I feel like you have not felt good about yourself. You need to embrace your own sexuality. Embrace um, how you look. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys have been not taking care of yourself or like you don't feel good about your physical appearance. You're still fine. You still look fine. Yeah, it's like you're not happy with the way you look. Your ego is bruised by it or you need to work on your physical body and appearance. Now, it might not be your actual physical body. It might be you're not happy with the way other people see you as far as your appearance. But you need to focus on healing, guys, so that you can gain some sort of freedom. There's some type of freedom that you need to attain. All right, freedom from this situation. I don't know. Let's see what's going on career and money-wise for you for the month of November. What's happening for Sagittarius? Some of you are saving money for a rainy day. You're taking a good look at where you've been spending and you are saving your money, putting it in the bank to save it. I also see you doing two things at once. Some of you are interviewing for a new position while still working another one. Maybe you're picking up a second job. I do see you ready to leave a job for a new job, maybe going into a new position or something that is like a whole new field or new area. This is going to help you to increase your credit score. I feel like you guys are going to be working a lot. Like you're going to have a lot of um, time on your hands. Some of you are just going to school for something. You may be taking time to go to school or saving money to train for something new. I feel like you've had a toxic work environment. I also see you getting some sort of loan approved for something here. Um, I see a job offer coming up for you guys. Look at that literal job offer coming in. A lot of you have felt like you've been carrying all the weight on your back, on your shoulders financially, and it's getting heavy. Make sure that you're looking at this job offer and taking it very seriously, that you're looking at all the pros and cons before you make a knee-jerk reaction or decision. I do see some unexpected income coming in. Tell me about this. Yeah, you're going to be saving money to make sure your bills are paid while some of you while you're in school. Some of you, um, you starting something new is going to help you to pay bills like you're going to be able to save a lot of money. Some of you, you've been in competitive fields within your work. So you're looking for something new so that you can pay your debts. Because I feel like a lot of you, your credit has taken a hit for some reason. And that may be frustrating for you. Let's go ahead and see. I'm So as far as career money, I see you guys working on getting some sort of new opportunity to make more money. And saving that money so that you can pay off certain debts that you've incurred. All right. Um, let's go ahead and see what advice Spirit has for you. Take care of your body, eat well, exercise, and relax. That's clear as day that you need to take care of you guys, right? Conquer your fears. What are you afraid of? Spirit is telling you to take full accountability. Face those fears. Don't be afraid. Don't let anxiety define you. Don't let your fear keep you from making decisions that you know you need to make. Worry less. The universe is on your side. I told you guys, you guys are very protected, whether you know it or not. What you're going through is temporary. It's going to pass, okay? But don't deny your mistakes. Learn from them. You got to end the cycle. It's going to pass because you got to learn not to repeat the same things over and over again, you know? And a lot of that has to do with your choices, like not 
continuing to do the same things or be around the same people or let those same people that hurt you back into your life over and over again. It's like asking, you know, for the person to do it again and do it again and put you in those same situations. And for some of you, it's okay, you've drawn boundaries with those people, but you also need to draw boundaries with new people coming in so that you're not having the same experiences with new faces. All right. That's what I have for you, Sag. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live and when I post new videos. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.